Chua, boy. Boom. You funny. That's not rain. Not a good year. Next year, snow would be better. Or non existent. <laughs> I think that's my car. Welcome to Lifestyles of the Strange and Exotic Christmas Hall, too. Like I said, I didn't expect to get much, and my expectations are correct. But the, I should show you the tiny hall. Anyway, now, uh, now all this pretty much came from Mother, so that's it the only good Christmas gifts left that I have. And, let's see, I'm not sure where to start. Well, I'll just start from the top of the pile. Wow, rain part. <laughs> and today is New Year's Eve. But technically, it is still Christmas until the 6th of January when it's Epiphany. So this is still legit. <laughs> Alright. Now one of the things I got here is a... One of those, like, fleece scarves. Weird thing is, I don't usually wear scarves. They did come in handy yesterday when we bailed everybody out from the foot of snow. And this, I think, came from Kmart because it's Joe Boxer. <laughs> okay, the, instead of putting one size fits most, it's now an acronym, O-S-F-M. Most. Yes, I know. I love it, I got it. <laughs> now my question is, fits most? Who are the people that this doesn't fit? <laughs> I mean, are people's necks so big and walk all the way around? Mm, disturbing, I don't know. But... It did come in handy <laughs> yesterday, anyway. But I had like the same problem with hats. Maybe it's the materials, but my hair goes boom. <laughs> Drives me nuts. So I usually hesitate wearing scarves. But then I had a hood that's too too big, anyways. So <laughs> that did come in handy. And the next thing I got. The other thing should be there. Where the other thing? Okay. <laughs> now. Only these things you would get from your mo own mother. A pair of socks. But sadly, I need new undies. <laughs> but I could also use socks as well. Now, she picked these up. Of course, I'll wear Halloween socks all year round. Of course, I'll wear these all year round, too. Socks are socks to me. Because they have Khufu and Kefrin on them. And I don't know if you can see that. The gray one would be Khufu, and that one would be Kefrin. <laughs> and I would put hats and scarves around them. Dribble was much more, uh... <laughs> He'd allow me to do that more and then just give you the look like, Alright, just take the picture and get it off. I only do this because you feed me. <laughs> so these are my Kufu and Kefrin socks. And the next thing is a Goodwill find that I did not see. Now normally I wouldn't wear this color. This is so a color that's mother. But it has this on it. <laughs> Only because of the Egyptian theme would I allow myself to wear this beigey color. Because, you know, desert pyramids, they're all kind of in that theme, you know? <laughs> so this is sort of the color of Egypt. And it has, like, little uh, sequins on the word Egypt here. It goes to Great Pyramids and the Sphinx of Giza. Or Giza. Whatever. <laughs> I used to call it Giza. Timeless treasures, you have Cairo, the Nile River, pictures of, um, uh, let's see, um, I think that's Sekhmet. Looks a little more mouse-like than cat-like. Uh, that might be Ma'at, because she's got a feather. Sekhmet, goddess of war, Ma'at, goddess of balance, justice. Not quite sure. I think this might be a pharaoh. Maybe it's like Ramesses or something. Because he's got the pharaoh hat. Luxor, which was Thebes. I have Ra. All the, all the cool, uh, and it's the same thing on the back and down the sleeves. So you got different cartouches and 
Just a really neat theme. Sleeves look a little short though. That's, that, yeah. I don't know. But for me, on me, they might fit perfect. Because my arms are short. So yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's just awesome. The only way I'll wear beige. But it'll fit the theme. So that was just so me. And the next thing is me and it isn't me. And my eyeballs sort of burn when looking at this. Yet strangely, if you put a skull and crossbones on something even this hideously bright, it's still kind of got a cool factor. <laughs> and this is like a a night set you wear to bed. One of them, I think it was last year, it was like a pants set, which I think have, has made it into a DIY. They're like a white and leopard thing. That came as a set, but the t-shirt I wear out, it's actually not a t-shirt, I think it's a long, long sleeve shirt, and it says paws off, and that went with a thing. But I'm like, you know, it's a long sleeve t-shirt. <laughs> this would be a little painful to wear. <laughs> and it's just a little, this actually I think will be a little too big. But, you know, in the summer, you know, and you sure as heck won't get lost. <laughs> you got little skull and crossbones, little hearts and little peace signs. Make my eyeballs burn. It is just a little, <laughs> the little tiny top here, and this no boundaries. I, I think that's a Walmart. <laughs> a very badly sewn gathering between the. <laughs> but since you're wearing it to bed, you know, these will probably break at some point, anyways. Okay, enough of that. Oof. And the next thing is another scarf. But this isn't like a winter scarf. And when Mother saw me wear the dress that I got, that she's like, oh, it's going to be perfect. <laughs> and it's a very thin scarf with, I don't even know if you can see this, with little Jolly Rogers on it. And they're kind of cute, actually. <clears throat> Now, how does his sister do this? He did. I guess this is the idea. I have no idea. There. There. So it's more of like a mm, fashion scarf, which goes perfect with this dress. I guess this is the idea how you wear it. <laughs> more, more like a necklace scarf than a any type of functional scarf. But for this time of year, this works perfect. And with a little dress. Then I got schmutz on. What the fuck? <laughs> There's schmutz on my dress. Mm, that skull's brains are coming out. Hmm. Have to fix that totally. Hmm. Anyway, scarf goes great with the dress. <laughs> and it's the same kind of light material. This is a little more cottony feeling than this one, but it's mostly polyester, I suppose. Scarf. Alrighty. Now, the next things are pretty much like. I don't want to say, like, useless crap, but, you know, more gift gift stuff. Most of which probably have got, has come from the Goodwill, so we, we pretty much exchange Goodwill presents. <clears throat> and one thing she found was this, again, with Kufu and Kefrin on it. And, oh, I thought it was, like, a weird symbol. And it's just a little, um, I don't know, more like a plaster type material. With like a little sticker on it. <laughs> That's pretty much all it is. With like a couple little beads and a feather. And it goes, attack cat on duty. Except it should be the other way around. Khufu's the bully, not Kefrin. So it should be Khufu on top of Kefrin's head. And why the bird is eating Kefrin's brains, I don't know. But yes, that is so Khufu and Kefrin. Not quite sure where to put him. Them. It. Cut my suit here. And... I also stole a candy cane off my sister's tree. Not sure what the hell flavor this is. It's got like a black stripe on it, brown stripe, mint chocolate maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but it's a strangely colored candy cane, I don't know. Oh, she's missing one candy cane on her tree. Ah, oops. Well, the thing that dropped was a little rock that my nephew gave me. He's like, what color did you like? I like black. So he gave me a black rock, which is now floating in amongst my thing here, because dropped and I can't find it. But I heard it go punk. 
So it's in there. <laughs> Thank you, Damien. And this is probably another Goodwill find. Definitely because it looks like a familiar tag. <laughs> and it goes, welcome. And they're just a couple of kitties. And there's like nails. I guess you'd hang it up on your door, your wall. But now that I actually have space over there, I can stick things over there. <laughs> Because I usually have wreaths on my wall, and I hate putting welcome signs out because not necess I don't necessarily welcome people to my house. It's like, why are you here? Get out. It's a misnomer. It's not, I don't welcome you to my house. I want you out. So, <laughs> so I'd be the type to have a, a sign that says get lost more. <laughs> uh, the next thing I have, I do have, I think, another one of, and I don't know if anybody's used these. If you have, you know, tell me if they're any good. They're called Classic Comb. Instantly create popular hairstyles. And they're basically just two combs attached by like a beading. My hair is way too thin for this to be anywhere near practical. And I don't think if I used a bun that would wor work the same way as my, you know, spin pins here. So these are a lot more secure and easier to put in than I would think this is, because I can never get the other ones to work right. Because I think I have like a, a black version of this. But it's, it's too much for my hair, especially now. I don't know. Can be used on any hair type. Holds firmly in place, soft and comfortable. But I could never get it to work, because by the time you're done with one side, the other side's fallen off already, so it's like... Mm. <laughs> Maybe I'll piddle with that for a while, but I like my spin pins. They're a little more user-friendly to me. Okay, that was one last time. In the last part of this exciting haul is yet another Goodwill goodie. <laughs> and I think I've seen this a couple of times. And it's just a little basket with a little gray kitty in it. And the painting's pretty nice. I don't know if it's like a Made in China thing or if it's a handmade thing. Thing might be a made in China thing, but the painting on the face is really cute. And it's a little kitten in a basket, but I like the fact that you can either hang it up on a nail, but I'd most likely probably hang it up on this. Well, this nail you have to have in your wall. So <laughs> that is my exciting haul from my mother. Now it's just finding places to put that stuff. <laughs> I think I could hang something there. I don't know. You find blank walls and then you end up having to cover them again. <laughs> but that's that. <laughs> Adam <and them. laughs> I didn't have any room in my nook there to put the rest of it. So <laughs> there's a few more things. Now, as I'm sure you figured out by now, that I am a NASCAR fan. So, and I started as a fan of this dude here. Now these are Collectible ornament collections. And this looks more like the person than some I've seen. And this is Dale Earnhardt Sr. Though he hated being called Sr., but yeah. <laughs> it's just easier to do that now. The man, basically. And this, I think, yeah, came from Kmart. And it was $8 originally, but I think after Christmas they're like, mmm maybe a buck or two. <laughs> that's usually when we hoard these things, is the after-season stuff. So that's the man. And I don't, you know, as I said, I live in a microscopic dwelling. There's no room for a tree. I didn't even bother put my tree up. My little, little one. <coughs> Hairball. <laughs> one is just not a, I just didn't feel Christmassy this year. And it's seen better days. That one didn't hold up nearly as well as Grandma's. It's a little fiber optic tabletop tree, so... <laughs> This will stay in the box, and somehow, maybe, I'm thinking maybe putting it there. Because I think it might tilt enough that I can pile them up. And we'd love to have one of these in, uh, <laughs> go, go racing with them. A nice, not a trailer, but a, eh, I don't know. I don't know what you call these things. What are these things? A big vehicle where you can actually stay inside them. <laughs> Then you can have the whole weekend and tailgate in the fancy people places. Especially if it's a black one with a three. So that was that one's cool. Camper. That's the word. That's sort of the ultimate goal for our posse when we go up to the races to like get a camper and do that. <laughs> but 
but we get a we can't afford one. And this one is funny to me because Junior is wearing his helmet. <laughs> It's like, oh, okay, we screwed up the face. We'll just stick a helmet on it. We'll never know. So, it's basically the same paint job. I mean, the same, um... The same basic toy. Except I think Junior looks a little bigger, but then Black always makes you look smaller anyways. But they just stuck a helmet on and repainted him, so... <laughs> I'll ask you so I can understand that. So that is now... Oh, no. One more thing. I'll make you do one more thing. There we go. And we saw this last year after Christmas. I don't even know if you can see. They didn't have like a star or anything like that with my name on it. So it's a snowman. So I'll probably hang him somewhere. See Metallic? He'll stick on the magnet. He'll stick on the magnet. No, he won't. See? He doesn't even want to cooperate. So I've got a stone snowman with my name on it. Because it was like like the star or the heart. I could wear it all year round, like on my bracelet or something. Not too keen on snowmen, but it's the only one they had. <laughs> so, that is now the final end of my crazy, loopy, dark, and gloomy Christmas haul. <laughs> Again, thank you for watching. Hopefully the next videos will be a little better. I've got a few coming up in the queue. Uh, one more DIY. A few more previous hauls. And various oddness. So... <laughs> Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!